Oh, hi there. Some weeks ago I noticed something quite interesting. If you have a piece of acrylic like that here, and you shine a light, like across it, like that, you can only see the things that are scratched on there. Maybe it's easier to see with the lights off. As you can see this really looks quite nice. And I thought, well, I guess we could make something out of that. So I did. So you can see I made this little ghost thing here on the laser cutter. You can of course just use a uh, needle like that and scratch on your, uh, your patterns. So what this does is it has a little switch in here, some AA batteries in there. And if you switch on the uh, battery pack, the LEDs light up. And let's switch off the light again. As you can see that's quite a cute night lamp. And of course you can switch out this, so you can put in pretty much every piece that has the same width. For me it's two millimeters, like that for example. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the focus in this video is going to be on how to make the electronics on this thing, because this casing here really depends on what kind of battery pack you're using and actually what kind of LEDs you're using. Um, I guess you could make this out of wood. Um, you can CNC mill this if you want to, but I did just 3D print this. And yeah, as, as I said, it really wouldn't make sense to uh, put out wooden templates for that because I don't know what kind of battery pack you're using because they don't come in standard sizes. But I can if you want to put in a link for this thing and an STL file for this in the description. Alright, so what you can see here, I've got a battery pack with two AA batteries in here, which produce three volts of course. And then I've got three LEDs in parallel here. And I'll just draw the circuit here so you can see what I did. Okay, so this is the circuit here. We've got the three volt voltage source, which are the two AA batteries, which each have 1.5 volts, as you know. Then I've got a switch in here, which is actually built in into this little casing here, so I didn't have to solder that in. Then I've got three LEDs, which each have a 220 ohm resistor in front of them, so the current through the uh, LED is less than 20 milliamps. And yeah, that's basically it. We would just have to solder this onto the battery pack and works perfectly. So these two batteries here will last you a very long time. Since these three LEDs only take up to 60 milliamps, uh, this can potentially last you for hours. So this is definitely a fit for a night lamp or something like that. But if you don't want to build in uh, batteries, you can of course use a wall adapter which puts out 3 volts. No, you, so you don't have to use the batteries here. So now to the casing here. We've got of course the 2mm slit in here, which fits the 2mm sheets of acrylic. Like that. You can of course make them 3mm or 4mm or an eighth of an inch, you know, depending on your acrylic. And as you can see, here are three holes for the acrylic, uh, for the LEDs. And you can of course just use one LED, but it probably is a little brighter if you use more. And as you can see, we can put the LEDs in here. I've got a little space in here for the circuitry, or for the cables and uh, resistors and something like that. And yeah, here's the place for the battery pack. And depending on what battery pack you're using or whether you're actually using a wall adapter, you're not gonna use this space here. No, depends on you. And as you can see, I put in a little tape so the battery pack actually stays in there. All right, let's assemble this. As you can see, you just put in the LEDs in here, like that. As you can see, the circuitry sticks out a little bit, so I provided this space, space as I said. 
Now I can just put in the battery pack, like, oops, like so. And because this battery pack has a switch on the bottom, you can just switch it on, switch it off. Okay, now on to the acrylic sheets. So this cute little ghost I actually made on a laser cutter I built myself. But of course most of the people don't have a laser cutter, so I'll just show you how to make something like that um, you know, using just regular tools. Alright, so this is the motif I'm going to make. You can of course just print this using just an inkjet printer. Uh, but, but I had this laying around on wood. So the first thing I'm going to do is just trace the outline of this piece and saw it out on the saw. Alright, here we are. We've got a piece that is well, mostly rectangular. And what you're going to do is lay this onto here. Make sure it doesn't move, so you can just lightly press it down. And trace all the lines using a scribe here. Oh yeah, and before you do that, you actually peel off the first you know, protection thing. I've actually got one on this side as well, but we're going to do that later. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I've got some double sticking tape here so it doesn't you know, move away. And let's get started. Alright, that took a lot more work than I anticipated, but it's done. It's not really easy to see that on camera, and what we're going to do is just remove this acrylic sheet from the wood. Oh yeah, what you can actually do is just you know, remove the protective sheet, and then you've got this one. And let's put this into the lighting stand. Okay, there it is. And let's remove the light. Now let's add the light from the dragon. Wow, that's looking pretty nice, isn't it? So you can see you don't really need a laser cutter for that. It definitely helps, but it's not necessary at all. And yeah, this is how you make pretty much every single piece of art you can imagine into a cute little nightstand on night light. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you. Take care. Bye.